I've been said all this that I, 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 I mentioned in the first part of the of this video which um is titled Understanding Faithful and Merciful God. Having said all that I mentioned that I said in the first part of the video. Uh, also, want to take us back to the Bible story of uh, Mary Magdalene in the, in the Word of God, in the Holy Scripture. Most of us that are believers, we know about the story of Mary Magdalene. Before Mary Magdalene gave her life to Christ, she was also a prostitute, possessed with seven different spirits. Well, in the case of Mary Magdalene, she found favor and grace before God. She had the privilege of repentance when she came to Christ. She found mercy before God. And she gave up all a sinful way. She gave it up completely. She gave up every other sinful act that she, she, she usually engaged herself in being a prostitute. They refer to her as Alot in the Bible. The people refer to her as Alot. But she encountered Christ. She gave her life to Christ and she was delivered of all the, the, uh, the, the, the demonic spirit that she was possessed of. She was delivered of them all. And she became prominent part of the ministry of Christ alongside with Mary mother of Jesus Christ and other women that played significant role in the Bible during the time of of the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ and when uh, and his death and resurrection and likewise that is one example of a woman or a man that live in the sinful way, but give their life to Christ and their life changed completely because they gave up all the sinful act and they, be, they became a new creature. For the Bible, that is what the Bible says. Uh, we hold all things are passed away. All things has become new. They became a new creature and were delivered of all the demonic spirit that has taken possession of their body. Jesus Christ delivered Mary Magdalene from this when she gave her life to Christ. When she came to Christ in repentance, And likewise, also, every one of us, be it a man or a woman, when we come to Christ in repentance and we give our life to him, he will deliver us of all of our sins. He will deliver us of all that is related or connected to our past And this is an example that I mentioned earlier in my first, in the first part of my video. And when a woman sleep with different kind of men, or a man sleep with different kind of woman, and an adulterous man or a woman sleep with, and an adulterous man sleep with that kind of a woman. 
Now, it's not just someone that is into prostitution alone. We have some people that are not into prostitution, but their ways of life is completely against the will of God in the sense that they are living adulterous ways of life. Some are even married, but yet they slip around. Some are not married, but yet they slip around. Some are engaged, but yet they slip around. This affects everyone, be single or married. When we, you, when we patronize an, a, a prostitute or an alert, did we ever pause for a minute to think that I'm not the only man that I've gone on top of this woman? Or I'm not the only woman that this man has gone on top of me. Who are those people? How many people has he or she gone on top of? I'm talking about male and female here. Going on top of one another. How many people has he or she? What kind of people has he or she had kind of knowledge of? What kind of disease does those people carry? These are the dangers that we expose ourselves to, like I said in the first part. But now, this second video is talking about the people that are prostituting their body. The same danger that Mary Magdalene find herself in, and she was possessed of seven spirits. But thank God for the grace of God. He found grace and favor before God and he enc she encountered Christ and she was delivered of it all. And these are the experience that many of these people have. And some are living their life in, in torment, tormented life. And that evil spirit in them pushed them around to go. Encage as many people you can encage. If the, if the person happens to be a man, go all over the world, everywhere. Sleep with as many as possible. Encage as many people as you can encage. If it's the, a, a woman, go sleep with as many men as you can. Encage as many as you can encage. Bring more slaves to me. That is how. That is the kind of spirit that lives in this people. The spirit of captivity that capture people and enslave them and make them the slave of whatever spirit that possess the people or turn them also into bondage, automatically transferring part of what they've got in them into that person, be it a man or a woman that is sleeping with them. And as a result of this, many people lead their lives in bondage. And they end up making their partner a prey as well. Because when a man goes out and you sleep with the, uh, all kind of people that you do not know what possesses them. And you come back home and that same body, you transfer what you have carried from outside to the body of your wife or your husband for a woman that does the same. This is how dangerous it is. Even those that, like I said earlier, that go into prostitution, play a lot are also putting themselves, their lives in danger, exposing themselves into the same danger that Mary Magdalene was exposed to before she gave her life to Christ. And giving themselves, rendering themselves, making themselves available as a tool, as a weapon for the, for, 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 for the power of the enemy from the pit of hell to use as a vessel to put people in captivity.
That is the story of Mary Magdalene that gave up all the sinful heart. How about the story of, uh, of uh, Jezebel? If we know the story of Jezebel, Jezebel even got married to a king. But what is the ending of Jezebel? How does it end for Jezebel? We need to think. And we need to be careful because if we sit down, we pause and take a moment to think, we will see that the danger is greater, is more higher than whatever lust of the flesh, pleasure of the flesh that we think we want to derive or get satisfaction from that very act of sin that we committed or that we are committing. Everyone is guilty. There is absolutely no one that is not guilty. Like Jesus Christ said to the, to the accuser of Mary Magdalene, uh, if any one of you is without sin, be the first person to cast a stone on her. Be the first person to stone her. One way or the other, we are all guilty. But thank God for the grace of God. Thank God for the salvation of the or of, of, of mankind through our Lord Jesus Christ. And that is why the word of God is calling every one of us to repentance before it is too late. We sin against our own body when we do this. If we refuse to come to repentance and we continue in sin, we sin against our own body which we did not, we do not have any power or capacity to create ourselves. For the Bible said, our body is the temple of God, which must be kept only at all times. Temptation will come, and that is why the Lord's prayer is there. To deliver us from all temptation. Temptation will come, but it has given us that grace and power to overcome temptation. And that is also why that Bible verse, it says, flee from the devil and he will flee from you. When you know that this temptation, if I go into it, I will fall. Then flee from me. And temptation is a matter of time. And you know that you will fall into sin. Then you flee. That's why the Bible said, flee from the devil. And he will flee from you. Amen. Is it worth it? She, I ye me, she be mo she fek, I ye me rini, she, e, 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 fek o fe ara ye, she, o, o ju e mi mi lo, she, o ju, e bala e mi mi lo. We have to think, what, which of it is the greater and greatest of all, salvation of our soul, or satisfaction of the lust of the flesh, that will, de- will vanish and will be destroyed with the flesh when our Lord Jesus Christ comes. What will be left is our good deeds, our salvation. But if we do not have salvation, what will be left of us? Where will we handle? We need to think. Tori awon ti won fi ara won si inu ewu ni igbagbogbo Awon ton se ise 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 asewo 
ati oni na bi obirin abi oni na bi okunrin ogo pa pa ton se ton fin showo se pe owo sina ai moye ai moye wu no fi ra won si ni igba gbogbo ni di igba gbogbo ti won ti okunrin gbe won wole to gbe won jade to ba je pe obirin ni ti o ti e to ba je okunrin na ni ti obirin gbe won le to gbe jade ni igba gbogbo ni tori owo ai moye wu ni won fi ara won si bo se wa le ni odo okunrin na lo wa lodo obirin a man can engage and enslave a woman in the course of adulterous act and a woman also can enslave and engage a man in the course of adulterous act and in our d our d da huda ama wo pe won olohun ki lese mi lai mo we pe o fun ra won lo n se ara won lo n se leda won lo n se ago ara won it is a great sin against our body when we defy the temple of God because our body, like I said earlier, is a temple of God. I've spoken about this topic before in some of my previous video. But the details that I didn't mention then, and that is why I'm talking about this again, so that we can think and check and balance, weigh it. Is it worth it? For me to trade away all my glory, all my blessing, all the goodness and mercy, glory of God in my life. Is it worth it for me to trade my future, my generation away, the blessing of my generation and my future away for just few seconds of pleasure in one night? few minutes of pleasure on te yon je ton je ton is it worth it to risk my life for this the danger it that comes with it in the physical and in the spiritual is it worth it we need to think about this for everyone that engage in prostitution for everyone that engage in adulterous act or any form of immoral heart. If Christ can save Mary Magdalene and deliver her of all seven familiar spirit that is in her, he can do it for you. He can do it for me. He has done it before. He's still doing it and he will do it again and again and again and again. If we have time, we need to read the story of Mary Magdalene. After her deliverance, she never, she never went back. She did not go back to that act again. She remained faithful all the way through. Even after the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, she remained faithful servant of God. She stands steadfast in the Lord. And the salvation was assured and secured. But for the rebellious, unrepentant, stony hearted one, think about what happened to Jezebel. Because Jezebel also, the Bible regards Jezebel also as a wicked and brutal. A lot as well. Who managed to walk our way into the heart of a king and got married to a king? But what was our hand? We need to think about this. That is in the physical. In the spiritual also, our hand is even worse than the physical. Because she's not only an ally, she's also the most wicked, brutal queen ever. Bloodthirsty mother as well. But what was the ending of Jezebel? 
and we think about this. The pleasure of few minutes, limited pleasure of this world, that we are gonna we will enjoy it for limited time and it will it will it will it will wipe away. Is it worth it for us to risk our eternal rest, eternal joy, eternal pleasure, eternal peace for limited pleasure of this world that will wipe away as a matter of time? And this is why, like I said in the first video, God detest so much the every kind of sinful way of adultery and idolatry. And I pray that God the Father, Son, Holy Ghost will help us all as we come to repentance before him and as we mend our ways and come to realization that the salvation of our soul is of more paramount importance. And it will give us the power, the special grace to be able to have control and discipline over the lost and the hodge of the flesh in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, as I have mentioned in the previous video, which is the part one of this video, it is a pleasing thing before God for a man to invest your money in your wife, your partner. If, if, we, if we happen to be, oh, I'm engaged to be married to a woman, or I have a girlfriend that we are dating, Invest in your girlfriend, invest in your wife, that you're, the woman that you are dating, invest in them. Show them how much you care. Show them how much you love them. By investing in your woman. When I say girlfriend, your woman, that is the woman you are dating, that you are going out with. And when I'm saying this, I'm not talking about married people. I'm talking about singles that are searching, that found a woman that is after their heart, that they had desire to, to spend their life with. These are the people I'm talking about. Like I said, I'm not in support of any form of or any kind of immoral act or behavior whatsoever. I'm talking about the singles here. When I said girlfriend or uh, a woman you're engaged with or you're going out with or dating. And for married couples, married people, when you take care of your woman, both married and single, that are searching that or that have found a woman after their heart, when you take care of your woman, when you invest in your woman, the heart of that woman, like I said in my first video, will bless you. You are indirectly showing the woman that you are equal to the tax as a man to take care of the woman. Being married to a woman is not just only, oh, we are married. In every area, a man must be able to show that, oh, I'm up to the tax of taking care of you when I took you from under the care of your family. And God support this as well. Bobo, what a bani la good of him, mo bearing wa, o bearing to bawani na ye wa, keke bi okori. For singles that have found a woman after their heart, for marriage that are already married to a woman that they have desire to spend the rest of their lives with. A good of you, mo mo, o bearing wa, a good of you, bobo tani mo bearing wa. 
everything we have, we must be, you know, we must be generous with our woman. We must show that woman that I can take care of you. Not in the adulterous way that some people will be like, ah, my poor twin, she, I need to shit me, I need to bat me. Especially married men that goes around because they have a little change in their pocket that says that to entice women. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a serious, serious relationship here. Single to single. That, uh, that, uh, that say how to, you know, engage in with one another for the plan of, oh, I found the woman after my heart that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Or I'm engaged with this woman to get to know her better for her to get to know me better, then we'll be able to spend the rest of our lives together when we get to know one another better. And people in relationship, as in singles, people in relationship, as in married couples that are in the relationship, in the marriage, we have to take care of our woman. And in doing so, does not mean that you are paying that woman for sex. That is not prostitution. Prostitution is classified as prostitution when a man or a woman have kind of knowledge or give his or her body to a man or a woman for a main objective of Payment for him or her to be paid for it, for having sex with that man or with that woman. That is what prostitution is all about. We all know, everyone knows in the relationship, when we are single, we have, oh, I mean, for many people, we'll be, you, oh, I found Mr. Right. Oh, I found uh, the right woman for me. And you go into a relationship with that woman. A relationship comes with everything that has to do with a successful relationship, which includes investing into the relationship, investing into the woman, and the woman also investing into the relationship, our time, our affection, and everything that comes with a successful relationship is on both sides, vice versa. But as a man, the Bible says, we must Take care of our woman. Shower her with gift. Shower her with love. Make sure our pulse is not empty. It's part of showing care. Part of care to your woman when you are in a relationship with a woman. For the marriage, a husband and wife. For the singles, the ones that are engaged or that are in a relationship to be engaged or for future plan to do so. In the quest for Mr. Right or Miss Right, we, majority of us have been in relationship and one relationship or the other that will end up failing because this is the new world, the new generation we are in now. Now end up failing and it will not work and everybody will go their own way. Well, biblically, what the Bible said about a relationship, I'm talking about the singles now, a relationship which I have given deep details, in-depth details of it also in my some of my previous video when I spoke about relationship and, uh, uh, and the uh, heart of unfaithfulness and everything, marriage, the singles and the married and the widows. The thing is that, in the process of looking for Mr. Right, sometimes we end up in several relationships. Some walk out. Why some does not walk out? But biblically, a man is not allowed to deflower or take virginity of a woman or have kind of knowledge of a woman when you know that you don't have any plan or intention of getting married to that woman, spending the rest of your life with that woman. That is what the Bible says. If you have kind of knowledge of the woman, you must marry the woman. That is what the Bible says. The only condition whereby you can go your way, separate way, is that when you are in the relationship, you never have kind of knowledge of one another. 
That is what the Bible say. But now back to the basis and down on earth now. Many people have that mind, biblical mind in their heart when they go into relationship, believing that, oh, I found the perfect man for myself. I found the perfect woman for myself. The right person for me that I want to spend the rest of my life with. And out of that naive belief, we go into relationship not knowing that the person we are going into relationship with does not have any plan whatsoever for us. And now that makes the person a victim that went into a relationship with open mind, with trust and everything, and that is ready to give and put in, impute everything he or she's got into that relationship. That makes that person a victim now in the hands of a deceitful man or a deceitful woman. And because of the trust that we have sometimes, we give our body, we give everything into that relationship, not knowing that the person we are in a relationship with has a, 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 an, an eating agenda to only take your body. And once they get tired of you, they, they are gonna, they go, they, 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 they forge ahead for another target that they can prey on. Another woman that is a target that they can prey on or another man that is the target that they, they, they can prey on. So in such a case, the person that goes into that relationship with all honesty and trust becomes the victim in such a relationship in the hand of a, of a deceitful man. I want you to be a I want to be a Because you are a man who is a man go into a relationship with eating agenda with a person to use and dump that person. Uh, knowing fully at the back of their mind that they have nothing whatsoever. No future plan whatsoever for the person they are going into relationship to, into relationship with. But yet they will sweet mouth you and promise you heaven and earth. And even swear with their life that they will never let you down. But that is exactly what they end up doing once they have heard enough of you. In such a case, the trusting, the trust, the, the person that is so trusting and so, you know, so positive about the relationship. Now, in such a case, that person is the victim here. And that, everything about that relationship go contrary to the Bible, to the Word of God. But the person that is being prayed on, that, that is being prayed on, happened to be the victim here. This is the reality of what is happening in our generation. But on the general note, for singles, be it your girlfriend, be it your fiancé, or someone, or, or, or civil partner, someone you are engaged with, or you are going out with and you have a relationship with, a man has to be a man to the core in terms of showing affection, love, and being generous to your woman. It is a normal thing for a man to, when the man is going out with a woman and in a relationship with a woman, and it's being generous to that woman when it comes to monetary wise, gift wise, show of affection and love and everything. And likewise also in the marriage as well. It is a normal thing. That is not prostitution. That is not what is classified or called prostitution. What is classified and, and called prostitution is a woman or a man that set out to give ease or a body to another with main objective of I'm selling my body, I'm a hawker, I sell, you pay for sex. That is what prostitution is all about. And the Bible said we should nurture 
and care for our wives. Pamper our wife as a man. Invest into our into your relationship, into your wife, into your partner, into your the life of the woman in your life that you have a relationship with, the person you found as the bone of your bone, flesh of your flesh, the woman that you love enough to spend the rest of your life with. When the Word of God encourages us to do this, it is because, like I said earlier, it can be someone married or someone engaged to be married or someone that are in, into relationship because they are dating your boyfriend or your girlfriend that are into relationship because we have to face the reality of the, this new generation that we are in. That you guys are dating with expectation of something concrete coming out of it in the future or in the nearest future. When the Bible said we should pamper, we should care for our wife as a man, invest in our wife as a man, emotionally, and everything we've got, materially, financial-wise. Invest in our family if we are the one that has a wife and children. It is because our family, our wife, is like a fertile ground that we are sowing a seed. And the harvest will definitely come with lots of increase when we sow a seed onto or into a fertile ground. That is the way it is. But when a man abandons his family, his home, and you, you are busy lavishing your money on prostitute, on a lot, on adulterous woman or a strange woman, that person is like sowing your seed, planting your seed into a desert land. A desert land never germinates seed. Seed never grow. A desert land cannot nourish your seed. It will only take it. Agbemi. Agba, agbemi, agba, agbemi. It will just be other banner. Big better young da don't don't be don't be don't be seen. I shall lay 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 sherry upon it. Oban bong wolf on ishi no bearing a bill. Ni o bearing tongue bong wolf on ishi no upon it. I don't invest time with a low bearing a jay genita to 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 pa ya what a almighty to go share toy. Be pay or batty or corny, a bit of a corneto knee and a person, a bill bearing to a job, yep, a job coming agreement. Ah, oh, mommy, mom, we can bear a joe, a rafe, can we be to my work, we lose a or compe, I be what they but tell you. A while, a while, ba, a knee, a tip, ah, merely no one before, merely she lay for merely ramoto for merely call it for merely ah. La ye la ye, owo mi la, owo mi owo le bola ta po mi se lo wo. Mi o le toju e, iwo lo ma toju are. A kon jo ngba dun ara wa ni. O ye ko be riyan gan mo pe ko so na fun ko si ko si ko si o na fun lodo okun re be. There's no future with that with that man. Chugbo, okun riyan o o o o a di po ko na wo fun obinrin ti o pe ni egungun e ha. Oh, 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 yala be, ama no wo fun akbere o berin, akjeje o berin nita. Fun ala she wo. Big bati, o yro akon le be, be, on me, on me, si a shale le ni. A shale le o le, in ko le bring product or increase. A shale le, bi akba no ni. Shi mo akon le to jekpe, o fi yin bo bo, kon ton lo on fi bo kon. Olorun bukun ni tori iyawe atawon mo eni ni tori awon family e to ku to je po ma ni idiran lowo eni sugbon number one priority of every family man should be your wife and your children first your family also o da ka se ka ran eni to ba ni loro lowo lowo sugbon not at the detriment of your family your wife and your children 
Your wife and your children can be in lack and you will be, you will be lavishing at other people, nourishing other man's family and another man. Sponsoring the lavish life of another and your family is living in lack and abject poverty or in need. Big Batani ain't born with own da. See, I shall let any. Cole, cole, moo, a so. Jade, be alone to some way. Ni ille or Laura. Ni yawo, at a one way. I'm more a so of polopo, of polopo. Ni I mo yon, no jade point to the quay, le or Laura, long me, see. O molo mo, only ni cole, quay, babo, ni baba, ni babe. Toro ba de bi oro, kabara waso, toro. Aso ofo e kwe, ah, e wan bi o, e josa. Ti yin po ju, e yin koni baba mi. O joro, awa de bi, awa, a toka kwe, baba mi le le. O do e ro, walo wo, e she shubon baba mi le le. O molo mo, le kwe, babo, ni baba, ni baba, no mata wo. Toro ba do jwe. Alam, pe, <laughs> baba to bi mi lomo le le. Bata ba pa, ili yon lor ato lom fun wati, sa ikbe kon, ta wang bi si a shale le. A bi ti yon kon, ini no wos fun, ala gbe re obere, a bi, a jiji obere ni ta, a bi ala she wo. Bi ikba to wang bi si a shale le ni. A shale le, can never a shallele o le mo e so jadi ko si e so gidi kan kan to le jadi la se no a shallele a shallele ile agba no ni e yin mo fe kan ranti be no ni oro ina to ba awa obirin wi when we invest our time we invest it into our marriage into our family into our relationship with the expectation to get product of our labors, what we labor for. Well, unfortunately, sometimes women sacrifice, but at the end of the day, unfortunately, that sacrifice, a man render it useless. And Render it, it, make it prove completely abortive. Or in such a case, what do we do? We just run to our father and cry to him. Now you see the works of my hand. You know my labor, what I have labored for. Because his plan is that when we labor, we eat the fruit of our labor. May God help us all. If a man labors, and that is the talking about putting seed into your fertile land, your own land, which is a fertile land that God has given you, it is part of your labor. When you labor, you eat the fruit of your labor. When a woman labor, put in investing into the fatherland, your family, your husband and your children, you get the fruit of your labor. Be alone, she fiwa she oluro lowo fun o egungun ha ta ta to ta je egungun he within she a partner, a husband or the man that we are in a relationship with. With the expectation of coming of of getting something concrete out of it the end result of it coming out to be a concrete and solid established home in the future or in the nearest future my gem mo ati lere olorun ni pe ti a ba we ta ba ta ba ise wa pe ka jere ise owo wa Then it over miss or a shallel. Iboni rate if a jade lori a shallel. 
Ashalele ile to si kuni. Ma wo le re se fe jade lori ashalele. Olon ro wa lo wa kolon sha nu fun wa. A desert land is a dead land. No product or increase can come out of it. That is the way it is for a man that is in that is sowing seed into a desert land. Or a woman that is investing your time, your affection, your your everything as so as 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 a helper. But not you're not doing it to your husband as a helper, but you're doing it to a, a strange man outside. There can never be end result product from uh, uh, from any time or anything put in or invested into a desert land. May God help us all in Jesus' mighty name. Along with me, ka 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 me see ori ashalele. But if she lewa ni le olora, if we keep it a fatal, productive land, Lord God Jesus Christ. I shall not let all our rats see 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 do me. See your more is so upon our journey, Lord God Jesus Christ. From book more, ah, we need to jump in. On what? On 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 what? In the relationship, on 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 what? In we we be a war at a want to jump in. The on 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 look on war for Joa Julius war. No, we be a war. Along our own, along our Lord called Jesus Christ. I'll niche it down. Lord called Jesus Christ. At a want on you to your to watch your law. No, my mom could go go in your to watch your law. Pata pata. Wow, no answer all over. Who is that Larry? Who is Benija? Bo bo a pata pata. The law my law my show a law go a show. O go to law by show ni. La tole te phone ko si bo se le di baje lai lai nto ro ti se pari o de ti se o ti se la se pe olohun asa nu wa loruko jesus christ amen e me go help us all in jesus mighty name many relationship as you know it started like play like play and it end up glorious to God be the glory for that. And many relationships start as a serious one and a handle nowhere. May God help us all in Jesus' name and grant unto us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to know His will and His commandment and to live our lives in His wisdom and in His commandment so that we will not fall prey into the hands of vultures. Because those people that goes around praying on people, deceiving them because they want to have kind of knowledge of you. And they don't, they, they, they were like, oh, instead of going to prostitute to pay for sex, let me just use the streak and I will sleep with as many, as many, as many women I want to. Uh, they call, and they refer to those women as girlfriends. And you look and you count. I'm talking, I'm saying this based on what I have seen people and other people's lives that I have observed and see. And you look and you count that. Girlfriends, and you count up to 20 and you're still counting. For just one man having up to like 20 something women as girlfriends. And you wonder what's happening here. They, they, that's another deceit that they use that be my girlfriend because they don't want to start paying for sex. But yet, they derive their pleasure on the woman that they prey on. And once they finish using the woman or tired of the woman's body or the man's body, they dump and jump to another. And you keep on counting and counting that whole oh, wow, for just one person. How many girlfriends have you have you had in, the, in, in your short adulthood life and you wonder these are the reality of the things that are happening in the world and they leave that mark of a kind of a scar behind because someone that is like that is open and, and glad and rejoicing that oh thank you god you have given me a, a good man or thank you god you have given me a good woman 
when they break the heart of that person. We've seen, I have seen cases of people that actually committed suicide because they put all their hope in the man, in the man, that end up breaking their heart and they kill themselves. And the man would have wasted like maybe 15 years, 20 or 10 years of their life or sometimes five years of their life. And they'll be like, where do I start from at this age? I have seen cases like that. And this is what I'm talking about here. Oh, there is it's two different things to be in a relationship as in, oh, I'm dating this person, I'm engaged, or I'm a civil partnership, or I'm in a marriage, or I have a girlfriend. It's two, it's, it's, it's two different things between that and prostitution. Oh, between that and someone that is selling ease or a body to accumulate wealth or money. It's two different things. And may God help us all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.